Hello everyone, my name is Guang Ting. Today I would like to present our work on object tracking. The paper title is Tracking by Instance Detection, a meta-learning approach. There are three key words in this title, tracking, detection, and meta-learning. In this work, we would like to build the connection between these three tasks. Object tracking can be viewed as object detection coupled with meta-learning. First of all, let's have a brief review of detection and tracking. In object detection, we input the image and output the bounding boxes of detected objects. The objects should belong to some predefined categories, like car, bus, or person. As for object tracking, the objects are given by the user input in the first frame. Compared with the object detection, we can also treat the tracking target as a special instance category, for example, the bot class in this video. If we consider each tracking target as a category, the tracking task can be viewed as an instance object detection problem. So it's natural to ask whether it's possible to apply an object detector to solve tracking problem. The greatest challenge is the lack of training data. For object detection, the categories are predefined, so a large amount of data can be collected to train a detector. But in object tracking, the target is given by users. We cannot collect the training data in advance. It means that only one training image is used to train a detector. A common solution for lacking of data is pre-training and fine-training. We train the model parameters on a large dataset and then fine-tune on a single image. Basically, SGD is adopted to pre-train the detector's weights. This is the ice iteration of SGD pre-training. The detector model edge is parameterized by theta. The training sample in this batch will go through this detector and calculate the loss function L. The parameters theta i is updated to theta i and 1 by gradient descent. The pre-training pipeline is quite simple. However, it cannot work well when fine-tuning. We can see that the detector gradually converges on the training image, but it fails to detect anything in the testing one, which means that the SGD pre-training is not capable of robust generalization. We consider another way called model agnostic meta learning, which is presented by Finn in 2017. In the ice iteration, we also perform n step gradient descents on the training image. But instead of directly updating, we introduce another set of images for validation. Each updated parameters will be tested on the validation images. The theta i and 1 is updated to minimize the loss on the validation images but not on the training images. By such method, memo pre-training can achieve a good generalization capability. It not only fast converges on the training frame, but also performs well on the testing frame. Given this pre-training and fine-tuning pipeline, it's easy to transform a detector into a tracker in three steps. Step 1. Just pick up any object detector that trained with gradient descent. In this work, we use RetinaNet and FCOS. Step 2. Pre-train the detector with memo on a large dataset. And step 3. When user gives the tracking target, construct the training data and fine-tune the detector. Optionally, we can also online collect some training samples during tracking. This strategy will slow down the tracking speed but yield a better accuracy result. We compare our method with recent top-performing trackers on four benchmarks. Although the approach is very simple, our trackers achieve very competitive performance against the state-of-the-art. In conclusion, we show that tracking can be viewed as instance object detection. Based on this idea, we propose to use meta-learning that bridges the gaps between the object detection and object checking. Thank you for your attention.